I'm going to build this paper roll scroll effect. Create a new Flutter project and call the paper roll scroll. Open PS Code and run this project. Delete all comments and delete my homepage class. Create a new file homeview.dot. Inside that, create a step widget called homeview. In main.dot file inside material app, change my homepage to homeview. Also delete the title. Open home view inside the build method return scaffold. And set this color to background color. Return a column to body. Inside the columns children property we will return a title view. Next there will be the scrollable pages. Inside the square brackets type title view. This class doesn't exist, so create a dot file name it title view dot dot. Inside this file, create a stateless widget title view. Declare two properties: title of type string and height of type double. Add these two required arguments: title and height in constructor. Inside the build method, return safe area and set bottom to false. Return a container to his child. Set alignment to center and the height to this property. Return text to his child and pass this title property. Set a text tile. Back to home view. Import title view and pass paper roll scroll to the title and title view height. This variable doesn't exist, so create a final variable at the top and assign a value 100. Repress it, and you should see something like this. Next, we have to build crawlable pages, so create a new dot file. Call it build page. Create a stateless widget build page. This is for a single page. Create three final variables, height which is the height of the page, horizontal padding to add left and right padding, and bottom padding to create a vertical separation between pages. Also require them in the constructor. From the build method, return a container, add margin, edge insects that use this named constructor ltrb, and provide the padding here. Add height from here, width is double the infinity. Set a white color which is the page color. Back to home view inside column after title view. Add a column and add four pages to its children. Inside the square brackets, add list.generate using the spread operator length is 4. Return build page and make sure to import it. Pass height 600, horizontal padding 32, and bottom padding is 16. Hot reload and you can see the overflowing error. So we need to wrap the column with expanded and also single child scroll view. At this point, you should be able to scroll. Instead of hard coding these values, declare variables at the top and store there. If you try to scroll to the bottom, you can see the last page is not scrolling up further, which is fine and normal by default, but in our case, we need to be able to scroll even further. 
so we need to add the sized box of height of this whole scroll view. If we subtract the title view height from the device height, we can get the scroll view height. So inside the build method, declare a variable to get media query data, get top padding and device height, and get the scroll view height and store it in a variable called it scroll view padding. Add a size box down here after the list and provide this height and hot reload. And it's scrolling even further. This is exactly what we want. Go ahead and create a file, call it rolled page dot dot. Inside that file, create a stateless widget, rolled page. Declare two variables, height and horizontal padding. This padding is same as the page horizontal padding. Require them in the constructor. Inside the build method, return a container, set the margin which is edge in six dot symmetric set horizontal to horizontal padding, which is defined above. Set the height to height. Then color is blue for now. Back to home view, import rolled page dot dot file. The idea is to put roll page after title view and change height as we scroll. And we have to add four rolled page since there are four pages. Put a roll page after title view and set the height to 10. And we can see the blue rectangle. At the top, declare a scroll controller and attach it to scroll view. Override the init state function and add the listener to controller. From here, we can keep track on scroll offset. Define a variable scroll offset to keep track on that. I forgot to initialize the controller. Inside this callback, update the scroll offset. Make sure to wrap it inside set state. Instead of passing hard coded value to rolled page, pass offset time 0 0.01, then reload the page. And now, if we scroll, we can see the height is being changed as we scroll. We need to create two more state variables. One is to keep track on scroll direction and current page count. Wrap single tile scroll view with notification listener of generic type user scroll notification. In the on notification callback, Add, add this if else logic to update the scroll direction and import flutter rendering. Return true at the end, that means notification has been handled. Inside the build method, if we print the scrolling up variable, we can see it's toggling. Now we need to update the current page count. Inside this add listener callback function, first we are going to store offset in a variable since we are going to use it. If you scroll up at the top and then try to scroll up again, you can see we are getting error because scroll offset becomes negative for over scrolling. We need to add logic to prevent this. So here I am going to check if the offset value is always greater than zero and move the set state inside and hot restart since we change init set function. Now there is no error. At this moment, if we scroll to the last page and keep scrolling, the scroll offset still gets updated. 
If you remember, we added a fake padding at the end of the scroll view. We don't want any offset for that. Also need to add another check here. We have to multiply total page count with each page height to get total height. Next, we will add another if else. If scrolling up, then we will decrement page count, else increment page count. Down here, after build method, create two functions. One is decrement page count and increment page count, both takes offset of type double. Inside increment page count, we are going to check if the offset is greater than or equal to page height times current page count. This will give us exact total offset value of pages have been scrolled. Inside these curly braces, we are going to increase the current page count. Inside the decrement page count, we are going to check if offset is less than or equal to minimum page height times current page count. If we subtract 1 from current page count, then we get maximum height of the previous page, which is actually the minimum height of current page. And we need to call these two functions from here and pass scroll offset. Inside the build method, print current page count and see if it is working. We can see it's getting updated properly, but there is a bug when the pages when the pages are scrolled up maximum, it's giving zero value, which is not correct. So down here inside the decrement page count, add another condition. Check if offset is greater than zero. Restart and see it's working fine. Now we need to add four rolled page instead of one. So use list.generate of length total page and return rolled page. For height, create a separate function and called rolled page height to calculate based on the current page count past the index. Down here, create the function returns double takes int index. Inside that function, store this page height in a variable. Remember, index starts from 0 and our page count starts from 1. If current page count is less than index plus 1 return 0, meaning pages have been scrolled outside the view, so the rolled height is 0. Else if check if current page count is greater than index plus 1 return 0 0.04 times page height, meaning this is already scrolled up and we are returning a fixed maximum value. Else, if current page count is equal to index plus 1, return page height times current page minus 1, which is total page height up until now. Subtract from scroll offset, which gives the remaining height multiplied by 0 0.04 fraction. Meaning, this page is scrolling up and going out of the view. Restart and rolled pages are now increasing height, but we can see them separately. So we need to add padding at the top in rolled page dot dot file. Wrap the container with padding and add top padding. Also add the variable to pass the value. Back to home view at the bottom here, create a function that will return top padding based on current page count. Write this logic inside this function. This is just to check if current page has been scrolled or is scrolling, then return 4. Reload the app and you can see it's now separated. 
next open rolled page dot dot. Instead of making the container fixed color, we need to add gradient. Delete the color and add box decoration to decoration property. Return linear gradient. Start at top center to bottom center. And this color array, slightly gray to white, then slightly gray again. Go back to home view and reload the app, and you can see it looks perfect. Now this part is not required. I'm going to add fonts package and add some text to build page. Then give some textile and add some padding. And it's and it's totally finished now. Now if you like this video, give it a like. If you dislike, then let me know. Follow me on social media and join my discord if you still need help or if you have any further questions.